Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSPP tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to go ahead and play with uh, some of the basic functions of PSPP. In this case, I want to uh, transform a variable, that is, do a computation of a variable, and uh, that way we can start exploring some of the other broader analysis functions uh, that sort of take their take their uh, lead from SPSS. So let's jump right in. So here I have a previous data set open from the uh, the intro video. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple data transformation. What I want to do is just take the, uh, as I scroll all the way back to the beginning, as you can see, it was struggling there. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to take the CRT correct, uh, the these, CRT1, CRT2, and CRT3, and just make a new average variable just to, sh just to show. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to transform. Uh, we're going to click on that and click on compute. And we are going to click on mean and we are going to put in numbers. Okay. So that's uh, we'll see if it if it accepts uh, our CRT cor correct uh, because it might think that it's not a number. So we'll have to check. And one of the ways we can check before we do this if, is if we go to variable view and we scroll all the way back up. And so here are all of your variables. And here we go. It the type will tell us so. SPSS and PSPP have two different types of variables, numeric variables and string variables. Strings are words, numeric is numbers. So that's important to know, okay? So we are going to use numeric, and that's the trick here. I actually recorded a previous video <laughs> that, um, <laughs> that I was using the wrong variables here. I was using the string one instead of the numeric one. All right, so that's good. We are going to use CRT1, CRT2 the, with the cores at the end of it, CRT3, and that's just um, whether or not they got it correct. So we are going to click on transform, back to compute, and we are going to double click on mean. That's one way that we can get, uh, and we're gonna get rid of this question mark. The text input on this is a little bit uh, a little bit odd. So I'm going to double click here, and I believe all we need to do is separate these with uh, commas. Again, it does not like the transfer between the text part. So you kind of double click on it. So just be aware of that. I, I am double clicking on the variables themselves to bring it up here. And I'm hoping this works. So here we have. Uh, in my testing, here we have the mean, this is the function, and then we have our three variables in parentheses separated by commas. Okay, so let's hit OK and see what happens. Uh, what we should get in the output is a, a compute and then the execute, and as you can see here are my couple of errors because I was using the wrong variables and not uh, big enough to uh, admit my mistake. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom of our variable list, um, after all of these variables, there are close to 200. Here you go, CRT average two, numeric. Um, you can change the width of your columns. Um, you can uh, include how many decimal places each of the numbers in the column in the cell have. Uh, we you can add labels. I will talk about labels in a in a future video when labels become um, necessary. Um, we can have value labels. This is really good if you're talking about categorical groups. Um, missing values, what you do with missing values. The default is that you don't do anything with missing values. Again, the column, uh, how many, the column width there, uh, how the values are aligned within the cell. So you can do right, left, and uh, right, left, and uh, uh, center, I guess. Measure and the role, which would be input. And uh, you can change that 
to output both none, partition, and split. So that's how you um, so that's how you would do a transform variable in your PSPP. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you uh, like this content, consider subscribing. Stay tuned for more PSPP tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.